morning. This is Angela from North Carolina. You are looking at a piece of property that in February a single wide trailer burned down that an old man had lived in for years. He was not injured, but he sold his property. Well, little did anyone know that COVID was around the corner. See the pink landscaping tape. This is a new phenomenon in this area. I am in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't find a store or a gas station if your life depended on it. Look at the precious homes in the middle of nowhere and they all have been sold. A year ago, no one in their right mind would have wanted to live out where I am right now. I'm in love with these cute little houses. I even looked them up on the internet. Are they not precious? They have stone. Everybody only has half an acre. I just think what a wonderful life my husband would have if he didn't spend all day cutting trees and cutting grass. Aren't they precious? But everywhere you look in the country now, someone that has like an old farmhouse, they've now made a neighborhood. They put little cul-de-sacs in and they turn these little farms into like five or six houses into a neighborhood. But aren't they cute? I was stunned. They're in the neighborhood of 280 in the middle of nowhere. I never thought that in this area I would see houses this small for 287000 But everyone's trying to get out of the city. Everyone. So as you can see, the man did own quite a bit of land, so this is where it's going to end. So I don't know if you would really call this a neighborhood, or if it was just an opportunity. But people just don't want to live 